Hiya folks, Nathan here. Hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to something uh, very new today. Uh, as you can see, I'm stood at the cooker or the oven, or whatever you want to call it. But um, yes, I thought I would share with you uh, something that I'm experimenting with today. Uh, just to cut long story short for you, I'm here on my own. I've got, I had the house to myself the past week and obviously I've needed to eat. So. Uh, I'm cooking myself up a little little meal tonight and I just thought I would uh, share with you what it was and obviously um, film my final preparations of it so before I show you what it is um, well I'm going to tell you what it is but before I show you what it looks like um, basically I've just chucked some mincemeat with onion into a pan with some frozen vegetables so peppers, mushrooms, a little bit of diced onion, threw some tomato passata, tomato passata, try saying that fast, threw some of that in, mixed it all together, uh, browned off the mince, um, I've left it simmering now on a low heat, as you can see there, it's on a low heat, it's been simmering away for a few minutes there, um, and now we're just coming to preparing to do the pasta which I'm going to have with it so first of all let's remove this lid and see what see how it's looking give it a bit of a shake so I'm just going to pop this to one side because I'm not going to need to use that again and here we are so it's bubbling away nicely give it a little bit of a stir Doing, doing all this one handed of course because obviously I've got to hold the Kindle with my other hand and uh, it's about this time folks that I may have to make a sad announcement uh, I may be coming to an end of YouTube because uh, this Kindle is playing up something terrible I don't know whether it's the charger or the actual battery but it's not charging properly and sooner or later this Kindle's just going to run out of battery and never charge again and I fear that if I get a new Kindle I won't be able to remember my YouTube login details and I won't be able to get back on the channel to make any more videos so I'm hoping it doesn't come to that um, but if it does obviously this is a pre-warning that uh, videos from my channel might stop they might not so uh, Anyway, back to this, so uh, just give it a mix there, so you can see in there there's some peppers, you can see a bit of the mince, we've got some mushrooms in there, uh, passata, just to give it a bit of thickness and extra flavour, I've sprinkled a few garlic granules in there as well, uh, give it a little bit of flavour, pinch of salt and pepper, and obviously now comes the time to begin the pasta so just bear with me I'm going to stand the Kindle up over here so you can see what I'm doing I hope you can see me like that you should be able to right folks I'm just going to uh, do this off camera I'm just going to boil the kettle so I need to put some water in this pan here. Close this window as well because it's a bit chilly. Yeah, four doors in there, the kettle's boiling. And in case you can hear music in the background, I have got magic radio on in the living room on the TV. Doesn't it hurt to have a bit of music while you're cooking, does it? So, there you go. This is the pasta that I'm using. It's Fusilli, I don't know how you pronounce it. The Italian pasta. I'll just show you close up. Go okay. cook away, show you what they look like. Are these are uh, twirly ones, look. Uh, I'll throw them into the pan. I've, I've handled them, so I'm going to eat them. 
hands are clean folks just in case you're wondering this is just for me so that in case you're wondering that it doesn't look a lot it's only uh, enough for one meal there as on here on the air uh, we'll wait for the uh, kettle to finish boiling sprinkle some salt into this pan now uh, this is to stop it from sticking it looks quite a lot but it will also it looks quite a lot of salt but it will give the uh, pasta a bit of fla flavouring as well just going to give this a stir while I'm waiting for the kettle to boil Popping out, folks. I've got three hand at the wall, and steady. Oh, actually, I was thinking of draining this, but uh, it seems to have thickened up nicely. I might try it then, even so, just to get a bit of any extra juice. I might try and drain it a little bit. in here making sure that all the pasta is submerged okay I'm just going to turn this on now so we need the top right hand hub which is this one uh, this is quite a slow hub so I'm going to have it on quite a high setting just to try and cook it quick I don't know if you can see that, but the hub is actually glowing red. Uh, this is an electric oven, by the way, folks. On uh, I don't know how I would have coped with glass, <laughs> glass, gas, but uh, um, I'll just bring the Kindle up here. Yeah. Just excuse the adverts and stuff in the living room. I don't. I hope I don't get copyright strikes for that. I'll just turn the this light off a minute see it a little bit better now so that's what it looks like there's the pasta you can see it, the hob glowing there look I don't know why it's coming out purple it's not purple in my, to my eyes it's red and no I'm not colour blind so Basically, all I need to do now is just wait for the pasta to cook. I've left this simmering at a low heat. So I don't really think there's anything else I can show you. Uh, follow those who follow me on Facebook, of course. Uh, I may post a picture of the finished result. But... Yep, basically all I need to do now is just wait for that pasta to soften and then this should be ready. I'll probably drain it through the colander to get rid of any excess juice and then it will be ready for serving. Got my plate over there ready. So that's pretty much it folks, I'm going to leave it there, I think I'm going to get this uploaded just while I wait for this to cook, um, because my Kindle is going down, it's, I don't even know what percentage it's on, I can't check, 
it was on uh, 49 when I last looked 49 percent it's probably uh, less than that now so I'm going to uh, end this video here and get it uploaded just make sure that that is over the, the hob and cooking properly so there you go folks, just a short video of uh, me preparing a meal which is uh, a big achievement for me you know I'm uh, albino, I'm registered blind but I do so soldier on and uh, it's not looking too bad is it considering it's just something I've slapped together but there we go so take care and I hope to see you in the next video Fingers crossed all goes well with my Kindle. Ta-da!